Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Diego Melito to take a look at today. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. In the game nowadays, they definitely should have given this card at least a five star weak foot. The skill moves I don't expect for someone like Diego Melito, but a five star weak foot 100%. For the game right now, yes. Uh, player traits, he has the finesse shot traits, which is obviously fantastic, with the power header trait as well. Uh, we're most likely going to be giving this card an engine chemistry style because he is really well formatted in most areas of the card because long shots being low, I mean, as far as we've seen with the finesse shots for the long range distance, it just depends on the characteristics of the card when it comes to whether or not they hit them well. Don't really care too much about those power strikes. It's more about those finesse shots from a distance and the close ones too. Because with the engine chemistry style, it's a card that is going to be good with the pace, the passing, and the dribbling department. However, Diego Melito is also a player who has an average body type, right? So that's a bunch of stuff that you have to consider when it comes to uh, this card. Shooting on the card is in a fantastic area. Shot power at a 95, 99 for finishing, 98 for attacking positioning. All of that's very, very good. So no issues there. This card is a high medium work rated player, so it should be perfectly fine in the attacking areas for sure. Uh, passing on the card is pretty much perfect on the engine chemistry style, even before it is in a very good area, to be fair. So definitely very good stuff there. Dribbling we will be experimenting with because, you know, hopefully he's kind of like an Avila card where it's like, you know, he has an average body type, but the dribbling stats compensate really, really well for it because you are, you are boosting the agility and balance, which is obviously very, very important. Uh, he has 99 heading accuracy, 90 jumping. So if you do want to go for those uh, headers in the air, he could potentially win them. 94 for stamina and then a 91 for strength. So a lot of very interesting things. Uh, I have to make sure I actually buy the engine chemistry style because i've opened a few packs in this account but i don't know if i have the engine oh i have an engine poggers okay perfect so what we're gonna do is oh i have to go get that 412 into brb okay so i just had to fix the tactics real quick uh still using this lauren blanc card i don't think i have another player i can play there or maybe i could use like a midfielder at some point in the future just play like a th like a three back I don't know, because this card, like, even when I told you guys in the review, is not it. He's just there because he does help me out with the chemistry for the reviews, so don't mind that. But, yeah, we'll use the 4-1-2-2, and two, guys. We'll play him at left striker, getting behind instructions, and we will see how he plays, man. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, no. The run was good. Oh, get it. No. Oh. Better get this, Melito. Yes, my boy. Oh, you know I gotta try those. I have to try those with him. I wish they gave base card stats of high um, jumping from Elito. That would have been nice. Because the engine is like, you kind of have to give it to him, you know? That's a foul. Might be a red too, because he challenged from behind. No? Thought it would be. Oh. Diego Melito. Oh. Oh, I hit the post twice. No, dude. Chip. Oh, that chip was not crazy. That shot cancel is also like kind of rough as well. That average body type is definitely going to be a noticeable thing with this card. Oh, we hit the crossbar. No, dude. Now shout, my boy. Yeah, we have to try those. Gotta try those. Oh, that wasn't a bad finish. I should have gone for the chip shot there since he pushed the goalie a little bit. Oh, it was a good run, though. That was a good run. No! Near post. Nice, there we go. So, what I do notice is that, obviously, his average body type is going to be... Um, 
I would say it's it's a little bit of a nuisance from time to time to work with, but he does have really good attacking AI. Like his attacking AI has been really, really solid. I like the way that he moves across the pitch for sure. Oh, nice first time strike. Beautiful goal. See, like the movement there was perfectly fine. I like the way that he was positioning himself. Nice near post finish. Good stuff. Ah, I tell I tell you guys this all the time, man. That attacker advantage is insane, bro. Oh, I actually got the pen there. Nice. Where my boy at? Where my boy at? Left side. Okay. Oh, I try to, like, I don't think they do it for the shooting, man, because I did go, like, last second to the near post. I was, like, looking at the guy, but then it went to the middle. It was weird. Oh, uh, almost. Hey, listen, I saw him on the far post. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this a try. See, that's the thing. Like, it's like I was mentioning earlier. I wish they gave him, like, 99 base jumping, you know? That works. That works. We'll take that. Good strike. Good strike. Yeah, I'm trying to get like the chip shots thing thing with him, but it just I don't know. It feels weird. Nice finish. Yeah, I really had to hit that on the first time to see if he would actually do anything kind of crazy there. That was a good finish, though. Wow, man. He even hit down the green, too. I don't know if it actually like gets my direction there. Oh, I had a feeling he's going to go for a diving header there. I had a feeling. Nice. Good finesse shot. I will say that his timing is a little bit weird because you have to kind of play with that average body type. So he's slower to actually go for that timing, if that makes sense, you know? Oh, goodness, that uh, shot cancel was something. Oh. Yeah, even just like small little left sticks to kind of just move normally. Like you see how Philippe's kind of like doing the small left sticks. Like you can't really do that too much with um, with Diego Melito's card. That white time shot is actually pretty accurate to be fair. Yeah, that angle is always really good. Once you get close to the goalkeeper and they're blocking the guys in the middle, you just always go for a small left stick against them. Should be a goal, right? Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, no goal there, eh? Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Diego Melito SBC. So I'm probably not going to review the right wing card. We'll see. We'll see what the vibes are. But with the cam version, guys, uh, what I noticed is that when I gave this card the engine chemistry style, right, you still notice the six foot height with average body type. OK, you're definitely going to notice that in game when it comes to like the left stick responsiveness, uh, you know, moving left and right, going for like that shot cancel to work that extra space. That's stuff that you're probably going to have to work with. Right. Attacking AI on this card is actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I know that this card is the high medium and the right wing version is the high low, but I don't necessarily care about getting the high low too much because his high medium was actually very good in game. So I didn't actually mind that uh, at all on the card. Uh, when we gave him the engine chemistry style, 
pace when it comes to AI doing it and letting him do the runs is perfectly fine. He gets into the right positions at the right time very quickly. It's just that when it comes to like that final pass and I have to kind of work my space, space is a little bit with the dribbling, that's where it's a problem. So you don't want to do too much of that if you actually do end up getting this card. Uh, the passing is obviously phenomenal. I wouldn't want to use a card like this at Cam because to be fair, in this game in general, you do want to have responsive players in every single position. So I'd rather have someone like Insigne playing in that position, um, if anything, even though his passing is phenomenal and very good in game. Um, physical stuff. You know, what's, you know what's funny, man, is that the physical stuff, it's cool to have if you are okay with giving him like a Hawk chemistry style and then you play him to his physical strengths. Because look, if you give him the engine, the engine is not really worth it because his dribbling still doesn't feel that crazy so if you do end up getting the card it makes more sense to just go with the hawk to improve his jumping to be at a 99 you have perfect shooting perfect pace and then you just work with his physical side if you guys like using physical type strikers now is this an SBC that I would personally do myself? No, because of the six foot height and body type working a certain way when it comes to the dribbling in the game, which I feel like is very important to have. But for a physical type striker, he is pretty good in game. I did enjoy using him for what it was. Obviously, if I was doing some sort of like uh, Champions League inter or Inter Milan Champions League winning team uh, concept in my squad, I would definitely fit him in there, play him at left striker or something and basically take it from there. Because for me, if I were to actually go with this card, I would go with a hawk because the dribbling just isn't that impressive on an engine so it doesn't make sense for me to give him that right boost the physical boost the shooting and the pace you know boost the 99 jumping it's very very helpful to work with right again with the player traits in game he does have the power header trait so you kind of want to work into that a little bit you know finesse shots is great to have obviously but you kind of have to time his finishes a little bit a little bit differently so it's just one of those types of cards i do feel like he's too expensive because i think if i go into the actual sbc 480k yeah too much way too much for what this card offers in game for sure that's 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 a, that's too high you know what's funny is that Solshar was also too high but Solshar is pretty decent you know what i'm saying like i i like using the Solshar card um in comparison so yeah uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys